let this be conquered as it's now time to kill the titles. Here we go! Oh yes, Tickly Dog! Banger. I gotta call my friend. Wait a minute, what I say I gotta do again? Minute to minute, I feel like I'm in the movie. is good and today we'll be talking about the concept of conquering fear yeah that's right conquering fear and today we're going to be discussing how can we do that in a very productive way that protects us and all those who have social anxiety and the answer to this question is quite simple we can obviously conquer fear because knowing the fact that you have people around you is number one. Number two, believing in the fact that you can do it. Even if you can't, it's not a worry. You've got people around you who love you, support you, care about you. And the thing is, when you do this and you feel brave, you'll feel incredible for it. And not just that. You have the power to know the fact that you can do it. You can do what means to be made possible. And the exercise I'm going to give you today is simply this. In order to conquer fear, and this exercise I am going to give you today, is followed by this exercise. It's called 5 seconds. And all you've got to do is... Hold on to the thing that you're scared of. So, for example, you're scared to go outside. Instead of saying you're scared to go outside, say you're excited to go outside. So get those two in the same section. And then what you've got to do is hold on the excited part. Saying, I'm excited to go outside, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And the thing is, this exercise came from a lovely lady called Mel Robinson, and obviously do check her out because she's got incredible, incredible psychological content that helps, including Tony Robinson, or Tony Robbins in other words, and of course it's one of those contents that basically creates the concept of fear and release it somewhere else where it's no longer needed. And that exercise goes again as follows. So if you hone yourself on the fear that you're scared of, hone on to the fact that you're on something that you're excited about. So say that you're excited to go outside instead of saying that you're scared to go outside. So say that you're excited to go outside and go and say 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And then step outside and see what happens. If it doesn't work straight away, keep doing the stages where you believe with other people support around you, small crowds, small everything. Because that is the importance of what it means to be. As obviously this week was the wonderful rare diseases, I'm proudly wearing my unique conditions top, which is called the Tubular Sclerosis Association, which is called TSA. And it's a lovely, beautiful top. Because it demonstrates the concept of there are more than one people around the world having social anxiety that live with TS. So I completely understand where you're coming from. And if you've got any questions, please contact me on snazzyss90 at gmail.com. And I'll help you the best way I can. So please tune back next week where there will be a concept of how to cope in crowds. And that's what I'm going to be discussing with you next week. So obviously on Thursday next week we'll be talking about that. 
And also we're going to be having the brand new show called Make a Difference. Teaching people how to make a difference, whether it's big, small or large. And by the way, I'm not doing the YMCA before you ask. And the thing is, the point I'm going to say to you today. Be you. Be who you want to be. Be the person who you literally want to be. Don't be the person who you don't want to be. And just be yourself. And continue on doing the progress that you create. To create the progress to enable to go outside. To go outside and enjoy yourself. As people say, let's be sociable. Until next time, this is me, Snazzy, giving you the social side. Signing off. Goodbye for now. Ting, ting. Tea sound. Ting, ting.